With schools nationally facing pressure to reopen, plans to social distance and wear masks are being adopted and rolled out. But even with those added precautions, there's another looming threat. Air filters. Tens of thousands of American schools need upgrades to air conditioning systems that blow air throughout classrooms. And most states have yet to adopt the latest national recommendations to help protect children and staff from COVID-19. Ventilation rates in part are intended to lower the, the levels of bioeffluent or in, in late terms body odor to the point that most people will think the air quality is acceptable. Dr. William Bonfleth chairs the Epidemic Task Force at ASHRAE, the Professional Engineering Society. It developed MERV, a widely used rating system that assigns air filters a value between 1 and 16. The higher the number, the better filtration. 8 was the old recommendation for schools. Good enough to stop large particles from damaging equipment, but not to protect against bacteria or virus, which can still get through. Epidemics are, were not really uh, incorporated into the thinking. Air filtration has been a growing concern since the CDC linked a COVID-19 outbreak in China to a single restaurant with poor air conditioning and ventilation. Now the new recommendation for schools to safely reopen is filters with a MERV 13 rating or higher, and many places are not ready. We have a MERV 7 or 8 filter in every single one of our schools. Chris Farkas is the operations director for Hillsborough County Public Schools in Tampa. So we're literally going system by system with an engineer. What can this system take? How hard is it to flip a switch from a MERV 8 filter the old way and just put in a new MERV 13 filter? It isn't a, it isn't difficult. It's more of a cost for the filters. Each upgraded MERV 13 filter can cost twice as much as the lower rated kind, but it doesn't get out of control. A typical elementary school might pay $1,500 more in order to get the better filters. You switch them all out four times a year, that's about 6,000 bucks. If we can move to a MERV 13 and not have to replace the air conditioning system, it is 100% the easiest thing to do and one we will do. So when you have an older antiquated system as we have in some of our schools, that's gonna make the air conditioning break down more often. A GAO report from last month estimates 36,000 out of the nation's 100,000 public schools need updates to their air conditioning systems. So for older schools, Farkas says parents nationally can still push school districts to explore alternatives like standalone air filter units or other localized options that can bring more outside air in or just clean the air better in specific classrooms, even if there's added cost. I would rather spend the money to keep my kids safe. I'd rather have my son's uh, school safe to do that um, than to try to justify why we couldn't afford it. Mark Greenblatt, Newsy, outside Washington, D.C.